Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another first look video. Today we're going to be checking out Of Kings and Men, which is a game that uh, was on my radar a long time ago when it was uh, first announced. Uh, a lot of people were asking if I was going to play it on the channel, and uh, at least me personally, if the game is multiplayer only, I pretty much write it off immediately. Uh, I just don't really enjoy multiplayer games. Um, I find that my gameplay experience is too dependent on the other players. Uh, if I'm on a good team, it can be fun, uh, but if I'm on a bad team or playing against a bunch of trolls, uh, the gameplay really suffers, and that's not something that I have to worry about in single player. Uh, I also like games that allow me to sort of build on something, and most multiplayer games lack that. Uh, essentially, it's just you know fighting battles over and over and over again. Uh, but this game was originally sort of hyped to be like the uh, the alternative to Bannerlord, like, you know, forget waiting for Bannerlord, we've got this. Uh, and the game never lived up to that hype. Um, it's got like mixed reviews on Steam right now. Uh, there are people that enjoy it and play it like crazy. Uh, there's some people that sort of wrote it off. Uh, it's still in early access, so the game has a way to go, and it could definitely end up living, uh, living up to that potential. Um, so when the game was updated on the 10th, uh, the PR company I work closely with asked if I wanted to check it out, and uh, I looked at some videos and I thought, you know what, what the hell, let's give it a try. Um, I It's got like a real Kingdom of Heaven vibe to it, which is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, but make sure you watch the extended cut. The, uh, the, the, the theatrical version is not good, um, but the, the extended like director's cut is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Uh, anyway, before I get too off topic here, we're checking out of Kings of Men. I've never played it before, um, but I am like vaguely familiar with games like this, so I think we'll be all right. Uh, let's go ahead and play. And uh, as I mentioned just a second ago, this is a uh, multiplayer-only game, uh, but you do have like sort of a persistent character, uh, and there are like little RPG-esque elements here that you can sort of like build your character up with. Um, you can customize his appearance. Um, can I give him hair? That's really all I care about. What are bingo wings? Is he even adjusting? Eh, the biceps moved. So what? what is a bingo wing and why can't I... Ah, okay. Got it. It's like his triceps. Understood. Uh, here, we'll give you medium bingo wings. Upper arm fat. Okay, uh, whatever. Uh, again, all I want to do is give him some hair because he looks a bit weird bald. Uh, man, boobs got size. Can I just give him a fat belly? It really just adjusts his like waist. Doesn't actually make him fat. Uh, I could give him a big old butt. Sure, why not? Um, so legs, head. Uh, again, hair. Ah, here we go. All I care about. Um, oh wow, that's gonna take a little bit to load there, isn't it? Oh, there's only, okay, no hair or basic hair. Can I give him a beard? Sure, that's better than completely bald. Can I give him a mustache as well? Sure, yeah, we'll give him the mustache and the beard. We'll double up on that. Uh, don't really care about anything else, but uh, there's quite a few options here for you to customize his appearance. Um, also his voice. Let's see, will it play it for me? Uh, apparently not. Anyway, uh, that's all I really care about, but yes, you can customize quite a bit about your character's appearance. Uh, more importantly, you can customize his gear. However, the gear uh, requires unlocking, so you start out with a small variety of weapons to choose from here. Um, shield, some ranged weapons, and various little pieces of like cloth equipment, as well as a chainmail shirt. So let's see, what do I have on? Uh, I have, it looks like the long-sleeved gambeson, and then the tunic. What's the short-sleeved gambeson look like? How do I... Ah, okay, so that's a clothing layer, padding layer, uh, and this is like a mail layer, and I guess you would put, like, plate over it. So, uh... Oh, I guess we click the equip button that's in by my microphone. All right, and you can see it actually changed on the character there. So he went from having the gambeson that goes all the way out. Yeah, I mean, that's going to give you better protection. So let's do that. I only have the one chainmail shirt, though, so we're going to have to use that. And then uh, what's the difference here? 
I don't think we'll actually be able to see. I think it's covered by the other layers. But we'll do that one. Um, and then we've got here, we got Hosen, which has a little bit of quilted, like, gambus and stuff on the thighs there. Uh, padded pants, let's see. Apparently, oh, sorry. Yeah, that was weird. Why was it showing? These are the Hosen. Those are the gambus and legs. Got it. And then these padded pants are slightly worse. I'm looking at the armor rating up here. So this is the best one. So what we've got equipped. So we'll roll with that. Do I have any gloves? No, gloves would be nice. Uh, just a straw hat for a helmet. So weapons. Uh, we could go with a studded mace, which is this guy here. Uh, Two-handed weapon. Apparently, uh, let's see. These damage numbers mean nothing to me because I don't know what to reference them from. Uh, apparently that hits a lot harder than the spear does, though. Two-handed weapon, however, so uh, I'm not going to be able to carry a shield with it. That's a pole arm, so that's going to be two-handed as well. Actually, can I equip that with a shield? No, okay. Uh, how about the small axe? That's a one-hander. Uh, and then I've got a falchion. That doesn't hit very hard either. How about we go, like, small axe and uh, we'll roll the shield. Go like Viking build right here. All right, so uh, not gonna play with that anymore. We'll jump into some actual combat here, but there is like uh, interesting Discord stuff. Uh, no thanks. There are like battles you can join, uh, clans, parties, and stuff. And from what I've seen, you can actually like join bigger battles that actually get planned out uh, on like sort of a hex screen. Uh, and there's also a shop, obviously, to purchase more gear. Uh, for example, like actual helmets, uh, and you can preview them. Uh, there is, uh, of course, more melee weapons, quite a few melee weapons actually to choose from. Uh, range weapons, slightly more limited. Uh, basically one of every type of shield here. Um, leg armors, uh, different, you know, chain mail assortments. Um, apparently you've got one with a cross, and then this is like the same thing without the cross. Or at least very similar. Um, and then let's see, top. So this is like the uppermost layer of armor. Uh, got various like leather and lamellar and like uh, surcoat type things that you could wear. So you could go with like a like a crusader esque surcoat over your mail, uh, and then some weird stuff like this. All sorts of lamellar again. Uh, right. So enough messing around with that. Um, oh, gloves too. Let's get into a fight. We need to earn some whatever these credits are so that we can buy some stuff. Uh, North American West. Uh, not a whole lot of players playing. I am playing a bit late here. It's like 2 a.m. So there's not going to be too many people. But this is going to give me by far the best ping. So uh, we'll roll with that. Uh, apparently it's going to throw me into a tutorial. So let's go for it. Uh, we'll do one-handed and shield first because that was what I gave myself as my loadout. Okay, press space to continue. Listen carefully and you might learn how to survive. Uh, have to go to the dummy to get started. Don't drop your shield when jumping over the fence. Okay, how do I jump? Space? Got it. Okay, uh, jump on over. Use swings on the dummy there. Just gonna left click. Uh, is it directional swings? Kinda hard to tell. Uh, it looks like it is. So the swings are directional, just like Mountain Blade. Uh, you'll have to consider directions of your hits later, but don't overthink it for now. Okay. Am I actually hitting him? No, I'm not. Okay, gotta be real close to hit him. Okay. Now hold your equipment tight and sprint to the other dummy. Uh, so shield up and left shift to sprint. Get around opponent's blocks. If you swing from the same direction, he will predict your hit and easily counter it. That's why you'll have to change stances before attacking. Uh, hit the enemy from five different stances. What does that mean? Oh, I should probably advance that first. Okay, so just different directions. What's the fifth one? Okay, apparently there's just four and I had to do one of them twice. Uh, let's see. If the enemies keep blocking your hits, you should think about switching stances while fighting. Let's continue with some defensive training. Okay. Robot De Niro. Okay. 
Uh, apparently he's ready to fight. Block his hits. Um, I have a shield, so does it really matter where I block? Let's see. Hold left mouse button and drag to choose block location. Okay, weird. Can't I just like <laughs> hold down the uh, block button? There we go. So am I supposed to be like predicting his swings? I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Got it. Easy enough, yeah. That's like uh, sort of like barreling in Mount Blade. Uh, he won't hold his stances now. Try and predict his move yourself. Oh, that's gonna be a lot harder. There's one. Where are you at? Where are you going? I blocked that. That counts. Are you going low? There we go. Oh, come on. He straight a little bit faster than I can. One more. Come on, one more. Ah. Uh, gotcha. Blocking with your shield is also sometimes a viable tactic. Um, but wasn't that what I was just doing? Hits can stun us. So I guess if they whack your shield too hard, it can, like, knock you out. Uh, it makes sense. So, uh, block some of the attacks. Come on, that's not fair. <laughs> he, like, immediately strafes behind me. There we go. Is the timing super critical here? Can I just kind of leave it up? Uh, timing is very critical, apparently. So if you hold it too long, he'll just kind of batter you out of the way with it. There we go. Locking arrows is what your shield does best. Uh, try it now as the recruit is shooting. So I imagine I have to time these two. Well, let's see, I'll just hold it. Okay, apparently I can just hold it on the uh, arrows. But uh, when people are taking swings, I gotta time it. All right, win a fight and you're free to go. Uh, I tried to get him on the backswing there. Gonna stay after him here. Ah, damn it! Quit running in circles. It's like playing Mountain Blade online. Uh, okay. 250 XP. Uh, four common and a rare chest. Alright, so we'll, uh... Did I unlock... Or did I earn enough to unlock something? I guess we'll have to look. Okay, it's throwing me into a world full of bots, apparently. So let's uh, give this a shot. Is this just like a free-for-all? Everybody's red. I don't know what that means. Oh man, some of these guys got like plate. Alright. Guess we have to challenge him to a duel. Damn. That reach is making this real difficult. Oh, I held my shield up too long there. God, my guy doesn't turn fast enough. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Now let's go find somebody a little bit easier. Like John Bot Jovi. Alright. Okay. They just keep getting behind me. That's the that's the hard part here. Wow. Right. Well, I'm just getting my ass kicked. Um. Is there anybody easier? Is there like a very easy bot? Those are all the hard bots. Uh, I guess I'll just I'll duel bot Dylan. Come back here. All right. Gonna try to use the shield more, but they really sidestep effectively. Uh, 
I can't see if I'm attacking at the right level. There we go. There's one down. Um, who are you? Sure, I'll duel you. Johan Sebastian Bot. These are pretty clever names. I, I'm actually impressed with the, uh, the amount of bot names that they've come up with. Ah, crap. Looks like uh, Johan knows how to parry pretty effectively. I do like the combat so far. Um, it is a little bit less frantic than playing like Warband or Mountain Blade Online, uh, but it's got a very similar feel to where like you could play that a bunch and then jump into this and you probably wouldn't uh, suffer a whole lot from the learning curve. But the uh, the AI sidesteps a lot quicker than my camera will turn, and that is probably the hardest part in dueling them. Is just getting my head around. And my mouse sensitivity is up pretty high. I guess I can increase it a little bit more. Uh, that's pretty much max right there. So let's try this again. Uh, <clears throat> I'll fight you with the sword. Alright, let's do this. Quick hit. Ah, I missed. This axe has like no reach. I need a longer weapon. I wonder if the spear would have been easier. Because I'd be able to outreach all these swordsmen with it. There we go. How did that not hit him? Uh, the sensitivity is a bit too high now, but it's definitely easier to get my... Oh, did he break my shield? I think he did. Definitely easier to get my head around, though. Which is what I was really struggling with. Ah, man. Alright, got my shield back at least. Uh, sure, I'll take you again. Clint Eastbot really brings it, man. He does not mess around. Oh, thought I'd catch him off guard there. I do feel like I'm swinging like through him, though. It almost seems like uh, my axe doesn't quite reach. Or it, it looks like it does, but the hitbox actually isn't as long as uh, the weapon is. Ha! Surprise! Damn. Ooh, got lucky there. Uh, I'm having a hard time. The problem is when you're trying to rotate your camera, it's difficult to control the direction of your swings because I'm, you know, obviously trying to turn left. And that is, you know, requiring me to move the mouse left, but then I want to attack right, and it's kind of difficult to do at the same time. All right, all right, bot springs, Gene. Let's do this. Ouch! So it seems like the shields are actually just gonna be useful for like blocking ranged attacks. In melee, they don't seem as effective. Like I was blocking just as effectively with um with my axe only normal uh, that's who I took on before I won't fight the guy with the scythe because I don't know how to effectively counter a scythe but I wouldn't mind fighting somebody with uh, like a sword or something the bot father okay let's do this medium or normal and we both went high Ooh, he got me good there. Come on. Thing is, his armor's a lot better, so I have to land more hits. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Um, Botany Spears. Oh, wait, she got it. Well, he has a two-hander. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, sure, Clint Eastbot. I don't mind dueling you. You got a bow, so that's kind of different. Nope, not gonna let you do it. Oh, okay, he's got a melee weapon too. Yikes. Oh, and my health didn't replenish. Apparently I have to die before I get my health back. Not too hard to beat archers though, you just gotta overwhelm them. Um, oh, I did get my health back, never mind. 
Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine, we'll do it. We'll do it, Botany Spears. I feel like she's gonna one-shot my shield here, but, uh... I'll try it. Oh, man, that was like half my health in one hit. Gotta be really careful here. Yeah. I figured that's about how that would go. Alright. Can I move on to something else here? What is this? Join the arena. Can I just leave? How do I leave? Uh... Quit? No. I wanna... Maybe I have to go to the Skull and Crossbones there. Ozzy Ozbot? How did I miss him? Let's see what this is. Hold your ground. No, I just wanna... I just wanna fight. Alright, so I'm at this, like, camp thing. I'm gonna talk to, uh... This guy here. That is not a weapon. That is an armor. Uh, I don't have... Well, I need to turn my sensitivity back down. Um, I don't have any of whatever this currency is, but I do have some loot chests. So, uh... Let's open them. Some XP. It's, wow, okay. Uh, can I get, like, an item? No? Am I pressing the wrong thing? Some gold and some XP. Okay, no, that just did them all at once. Uh, that did give me a little bit of gold, which I think I can put toward... Yeah, I got five. So, what can I buy? Clothing. He's got, like, actual armor. It said he was the weaponsmith, though. <laughs> I guess he does have weapons. So, what is this? Knightly sword, huh? I mean, a sword would not go amiss. The, the freaking axe is just too short. Crescent thrusting sword. Um... I like the knightly sword. That's a nice looking sword. Yeah, I'll buy it. And then I need to equip it. So let's go ahead and get that on there. And hopefully that gives me better reach than the axe does. Okay, so I was trying to get into a battle so we could see some PvP, but there aren't any currently taking place in my uh, part of the world, I guess. So um, I'm jumping into a different uh, like, I don't know what to call it, uh, battle scenario with bots. Uh, this one's called Hold Your Ground, and I basically have to hold off waves of enemies. Um, this is the first wave, obviously, and oh man, he's got a war brand that just destroyed me. Uh, he went down pretty easy, though. Uh, you can see I've also upgraded my gear slightly. Um, I have the sword that we purchased, as well as, uh, I spent a point on a, uh, a better set of headgear. So we'll see if, uh, oh, there's two of them. This is going to be tricky. We'll see if it makes any difference in terms of uh, fighting. Oh, he's got a falchion too. Falchion and a buckler. Got to watch out for the guy over there with the war brand. Uh, he keeps blocking me. Damn, that hurt. No, this isn't fair. I mean, my gear's a lot better, but it doesn't matter if I can't actually land a hit. Yikes. Oh, there goes my shield. Now I'm in real trouble. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get very far in that. Let's see. Wave one again. Oh, you guys aren't here. Alright, well. Guess we're just leaving the corpses then. Let's see. So same loadout. He's got the Warbrand again. Uh, it's actually a very difficult weapon to fight against. I find that the two-handers are kind of difficult to counter. Because it doesn't take a whole lot of hits from them to put you down. And uh, when they get lucky, it tends to hurt a lot more than when uh, a one-hander sneaks one through. Did I level up? I might have leveled up. Uh, hopefully I get some more gold, because I'd like to upgrade some other stuff. Uh, gloves aren't too expensive. Some of the leg gear isn't too much either. This might be a little bit easier. I've got a uh, one melee guy and then an archer, so uh, at least they aren't both going to be on me. 
try to serpentine here a little bit. There we go. That was much easier than the last one. Let's get back to the bridge. Nice little choke point so they can't, like, overwhelm me as easily. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it's only one guy, but he's more difficult and he's got better gear. There we go. Ah, I thought I had him with the overhand there. I'm trying to mix it up on him. Damn, he is laying into me. He's got a war cleaver. That thing does not mess around. Damn, I thought I had him. He's just a little bit quicker than I am. Alright, um... Maybe we'll try something else here. Let's see, what are the other game modes? Can I, can I get to them from here? Is there other game modes available from here? No? Alright, I have to go back to the lobby then. Okay, so we are in the arena now. And the way that the arena works is uh, probably not how you'd expect. Essentially, there's a chest in the middle here, and it's just a free-for-all. Uh, and so you kind of have to deal with everybody else and then make a move for the chest. It takes a little bit of time to open it, so you can't uh, just like run up there and try to open it before they attack you. Because uh, somebody is bound to you know hit you in the back. I've found that uh, when using a shield, it's best to stay as close to the enemy as possible, like stay up in their face. Uh, it, it seems to uh, block more often than not when you're doing that. Although that guy with the scythe just completely destroyed me anyways. Don't like two-handed weapons. Damn it, damn it, no. Come on, somebody help me out here. He's got really good armor too, so my hits aren't doing a whole lot to him. Nah, man. Uh, well, he was hard difficulty. I don't feel too bad about that. Nobody's grabbed the... Uh, loot yet. Let's see. Are you guys too preoccupied to uh, hit me here? Oh, so they immediately start coming after me if I go for it. Okay. Try to just hit people in the back. The thing is, they uh, don't take too kindly to that most of the time. Ah, come on. One-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no. People already spawned. You gotta be really good to win this. Like, I can't imagine how you would pull it off, because they will immediately turn on you if you go for it. And there's very little uh, time between the spawns. Like, that guy just spawned in. So I don't know how you would manage this. Oh, he's got a really good shield. Crap. Uh, just run through, run through. Okay. Ooh, watch that guy. Oh man, caught me with a backswing there. Get him, get him, get him. Come on. Got him trapped in the corner. Stay on him. Somebody's gonna hit me in the back. Overhand, overhand. There we go. Let's see. Oops, why do I keep kicking? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, he's going for it. Somebody's going to get him. Oh, no, he got a uh, common chest out of it. Wow, that is a lot of work just to get a common chest. Common chests have nothing but like 10 XP in them. Get more XP from like a single kill. Like if it were a medium chest... That might be worth it. This guy's got a really good shield. Oh, why are you running? Block me from behind. Or despite being behind him. Uh, okay, the chest is gone. What does that mean? Are we just like fighting each other for no reason now? 
Well, uh, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to do. Again, it's it's still early access, so there's going to be a lot more to do. And uh, obviously, I'm not able to get into a battle at this moment, which is probably the main... Uh, you know, the main thing you would do if you purchase this game is you'd be taking part in battles. Which, uh, there's just none right now because I'm playing so late. So, uh, if you guys would like to see more, let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe we can try again a different time and see if there's any battles available. So we can actually see some real PvP and not me just wail on a bunch of bots. Or getting wailed on by a bunch of bots. Um, oh, look at you trying to... I don't think so, man. But yeah, I'm, maybe I'll play a little bit more and try to level up my gear and we can come back and jump into a battle or something. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm definitely intrigued. I mean, this isn't something I would spend a lot of time playing, but it is, you know, enjoyable. It is fun. The combat is definitely uh, intuitive, I guess is how I would describe it. Uh, it, it feels a lot like Mountain Blade Warband, if you've ever played that, which I've obviously played a ton of. Um, I would say maybe even easier than Mount Blade Warband, though, because uh, you don't need to be actively blocking in order to parry strikes. Uh, you can just be holding the left mouse button, and so long as uh, you're not actively swinging your weapon, uh, you can actually parry as long as you're facing the right direction. So uh, I would say that, yeah, parrying is actually easier in this than in Warband. Although, I, I would say that shields are far less effective, and maybe that's for the best, because you can't just kind of sit there and turtle with your shield anymore. Um, so those are my impressions on the game. Uh, again, if you want to see me do some PvP, let me know in the comments below, and we can maybe come back for another video of that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some of Kings of Men with you. Hopefully you did too, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for my next First Look video.